Jensen knows how to cook up more than just GPUs in his kitchen. Facebook wants you to eat food in VR. And I want to eat this AMD CPU. Ryzen 8000 is here, baby. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. This Thursday, September 28th, 2023, Reese flash them. Yummy, yummy. Oh, that's right. We finally got our samples for the Cannonball for the Cure merch. We've got you fun discovery. You've got the keyboard warrior. Reese is wearing the Pixel La Vista. I've also got a Pixel La Vista right here and Cannonball 3. You can check all of this out at the link in the video description on our merch store. All of this money goes to help support our Cannonball for the Cure charity stream, which will be happening in a week. We will be live driving across the entire country. One week. One week, but we have more announcements than that. So some of you might remember that at LTX, there was a charity auction for a prototype and I happened to win it. Of course, I'm talking about the screwdriver. You shouldn't be thinking about anything else. Well, the team over at LTT wanted to sponsor our Cannonball for the Cure charity stream and provided, I'm gonna talk about the prototype in a second, but this is actually really cool. We have, 50 stubby screwdrivers. Son of a nutcracker, this is heavy. And 50 full screwdrivers that we're gonna be physically giving away on stops on the Cannonball for the Cure. So if you live anywhere along the I-70 corridor here in the US. Come find us. We'll, uh, we'll try to make it as easy as possible while also protecting our safety as much as possible. Yeah, we'll give those away physically while that's happening, but let's get back to the metal prototype. Reese, you ready for this? I'm not ready. We have three exclusive metal UFD Cannonball 2023 engraved LTTstore.com screwdriver. So this is from some further sampling that they did for the metal screwdrivers. And I can tell you this is way more refined than the prototype. It feels better in the hand. Everything is just more good. It looks gorgeous. This thing made out of metal, super sturdy, definitely heftier than the other LTT store screwdrivers, and but lighter than the prototype. It, it really hits the mark on everything, and we haven't fully decided on how we're gonna give away these three metal screwdrivers, but we'll keep you posted on how that works as we move forward with the Cannonball, which again, set your calendars, will be starting at 9 a.m. next week, October 4th. We're gonna be raising money to cure my son's rare disease. I'm excited. But now, after all of that, let's jump into talking about another thing that's actually tied to the Cannonball. NVIDIA CEO mm -hmm. Jensen Wong showing up at Denny's at an event for NVIDIA where he not only shows off his server skills, but talks about how the idea for NVIDIA was born in one of the booths at this specific Denny's, which is now a trillion dollar company. Obviously, Denny's is not, NVIDIA is yeah, the one yeah. that I'm talking about. But this happened in 1993, where they met at a specific booth to discuss creating a chip that would enable realistic 3D graphics. And that when Jensen worked there, he said that the business where he started as a dishwasher and then became a busboy and server said, teaches you humility, it teaches you hard work, it teaches you hospitality. And so they have a booth dedicated to NVIDIA at this specific Denny's, which is interesting that th in Denny's is like dedicating the booth instead of like NVIDIA, mm. like sponsoring it. Yeah. Like, I don't, they're both very large companies, so I don't know. It's, it's nice. It's a good like callback to the roots. I like it. It's a nice little company back and forth there. Just being like, hey, good job. It gives more credence to Jensen doing the, the whole oven thing. He's, he's served food before. Yeah, that makes more sense now. Yeah, but how this ties to the cannonball is Kyler knows, but every single year we have had a bad experience at the Denny's in Albuquerque on our way home. Uh, like when I poured, I accidentally spilled scalding hot coffee all over Kyler's nether region accidentally. <laughs> and that there's, there's another not safe for work story that happened the year prior. We're going to be going back there with you this mm -hmm. year and we'll see what shenanigans happens at Denny's. Maybe we can start a trillion dollar company there the 2023 Albuquerque incident. The 2023 Albuquerque incident. But obviously we can't do the Cannonball or even have all the things that we're doing for the Cannonball without video sponsors like today's. Today's video is sponsored by Falcon Northwest and their lineup of custom PCs that you should be considering for your next rig. Being the first company to build PCs specifically for gaming, they've had three decades to hone their craft into incredible statement pieces like this Tiki PC we have right here. That's longer than half of my employees have been alive. But this Tiki system has a PC 
case that you can't find anywhere on the market because Falcon Northwest purposely designed it in-house for maximum performance and fantastic thermal management. It has features like a five pound billet of solid aluminum to keep it planted on your desk and specs that are incredible in such a small form factor. Our particular model has a Ryzen 9 7950X3D, an RTX 4080, 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM and a two terabyte SSD. And as you can see, it's been arrayed in our own custom UFD and Syngap Research Fund Zebra print and our own nameplate on the inside. But the best part is, this isn't because we're special. Falcon Northwest goes out of their way to provide you with a high-end gaming rig that's catered, designed, and stylized to be not only what you need, but also what you want. And it's not limited to the small form factor Tiki. They have the frag box for portability, the talon for versatility, and the rack for server lovers. So no matter your desires in the enthusiast and gaming scene, Falcon Northwest has a build that can be matched to it, like Cupid straight into your gaming heart. And their technical support and warranty are unmatched. All of their desktops have a three-year warranty with a year of Falcon overnight service. That means if there's a problem with the hardware they can't fix over the phone, they cover overnight shipping both ways to get the PC back to them, fix it, and overnight it back to you. And to top it all off, they even send you some of their Falcon Fuel coffee so you can be ready for your next episode of breakfast on your new Falcon Northwest PC. So check out Falcon Northwest and their impeccable lineup of PCs at the link in the video description. You won't find anything else like it for your next rig. And as a little cherry on the Falcon Northwest Sunday, they've provided this one-of-a-kind UFD PC as an incredible giveaway prize on our upcoming Cannonball for the Cure charity stream, where we'll be raising money to cure my son's rare disease. So if you want this piece of history, come join us for that on October 4th through 6th. Big thanks again to Falcon Northwest for sponsoring this video. Now, speaking of the third time of going to Denny's mm -hmm. for the Cannonball and Cannonball 3, the Meta Quest 3 finally getting shown off and reviewed by a bunch of different tech outlets. So the whole Oculus event is happening, but now the MetaQuest 3 is getting shown off. It's got a Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 processor, which makes it faster. And now it looks like Wolverine clawed the face. And additionally, the I little controllers it. don't require the halo around them yeah, for tracking. Yeah, I'm gonna knock so many things with these. You, th you think you're gonna knock so many yeah, things? Why? The, the halo has saved my other controllers. Oh, because you were using them as bumpers. Yeah. Oh, well, for meta, it was for tracking, but now it makes sense that that's... These things are gonna be launching on October 10th, and for the people who have gotten the hands on for it, it does have a whole bunch of spec bumps, has a wider field of view, has more sensors for tracking your hand, has full color camera pass through. Which is nice. Like the uh, Quest Pro, Quest yeah. Elite, whatever the heck. Quest they, doesn't matter, nobody bought it, they gave it away for free. And you also have USB-C charging, 30% more resolution, still 90 hertz with a 120 hertz experimental mode. And according to a lot of the reviews that I watched about this, while the spec bumps don't seem super impressive, one of the things that is nice is that it just leads to a much better experience overall. People mm. could immediately tell that the Quest 3 is a spec bump and is nice. I'm excited personally, I like my Quest 2, so. Yeah, so the, the XR Gen 2 chip offers eight times AI performance, two and a half times GPU performance, and got Wi-Fi 7, 3K resolution per eye, a whole bunch of different things, especially because Meta has talked about how they're gonna use AI for tracking, making sure that things are going on. All of the software should be backwards compatible with the Quest 2 software that's out there, and battery life is expected to be about the same as the Quest 2, even though this is faster and is more resolution, they're giving you the same amount of battery life, which- It evens out. But it also evens out your wallet. Kyler, guess how much the Quest 3 is going to start at? $500. $500 for 128 gigs, but you can't buy a 256. They only offer 512 for $650. So you got to you got to choose 500 bones or 650 bones, which is less affordable than the Quest 2 was for most of its life and is effectively almost double the price yeah. in a lot of regards. It's difficult to swallow. Let me know if you're interested in the Quest 3 down below in the comments, but I can tell you one thing I'm interested in. Horizon Forbidden West Complete Edition got announced. So that's coming out to PS5 on October 6th, and it's gonna include the base game as well as the Burning Shores Edition. But they also announced that it will be coming to PC sometime in 2024 on Epic Games and Steam, which is good. It's not good being news, locked yeah. down to either. But one of the biggest things is that Horizon Zero Dawn was a bad PC port at launch. It sucked. It was, it was rough. Rough took forever to compile shaders, was a rough experience. So this time, they're going with Nixus, who has done other good Sony ports over to the PC, 
like Spider-Man. I'm excited Which for was that. a great yeah. port. So it's good to see that happen. We're getting Forbidden West sometime next year. I just want more details on when. <laughs> And I wonder if I can afford it. Reese, can you save me some money so I, I will have try more my money for that? Best. Please. Don't say it. Please. <laughs> yummy, yummy. And hey, deals. <laughs> Welcome back to UFD Deals. Everyone bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. And hey, we're starting off today with Next Storage Japan's NVMe M.2 SSD with the included heatsink, which makes it a nice little spec bump for your PS5 if you want to slot this in there. The one terabyte version is going for only $59.99, making it $15 off. This thing is so nice. I'm not even paying attention to you. This Good. thing is just immaculate. I am impressed. I saw you staring at it there. Yeah, like the, the selector ring obviously is now color coded. And then also this little collar is more of a reflective silver instead of a dull gray on there. Also the end cap as well. The LTT is there and just the... And then next up we have the Apple M2 Mac Mini, which you can pick the base model up for only $499.99, making it $100 off. Bad. If you need a great little Photoshop machine, because you've got a high-end monitor to pair with it. Mm -hmm. This is such a solid idea to pick up. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, we have the Acer Nitro VG271U, which is a 27 inch 1440 P 180 Hertz IPS monitor, which has all the bells and whistles, 95% P3 color gamut coverage. And you can pick it up for only $179.99, making it $90 off. With that, the deals are done. You can find these and more linked in the video description down below. But until next time, I'm gonna hand you back to Brett and the screwdriver for the rest of your hot news. Cheers. Your deals couldn't compete with this screwdriver. No, not, not in the slightest. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how to segue over from you because I stopped listening to you, but I can segue from screwdriver. Fantex getting screwed by Lee and Lee because they're getting sued, decides that, hey, we don't care and announces new fans with the same technology that they are getting sued for. Their D3, Double down. Their D30 fan lineup is getting a new 140 mil fan, which has the same connector technology that they uh, are taken to court over, which they're confident that their patents hold up. So we'll see how that plays out in a court of law and in the court of public opinion, people were a little disappointed with Meteor Lake, which is the next gen mobile chip offering coming out from Intel because it wasn't going to be coming to desktop. Yeah. But then Intel last week said, hey, it is coming to desktop. And people were like, whoa, this is. is cool. With the tile set up, this is amazing. Well, they had to come out one more time and say, um, when we say desktop, we mean desktop form factors, like all-in-one devices and like mini PCs. I knew it. Not not socketable chips. It's all gonna be BGA, not stuff you can put in yourself. So <laughs> it's happening for desktop. We're gonna have to stick to Arrow Lake, which this isn't unprecedented. Other mobile yeah. chips like Tiger Lake and Ice Lake have been skipped over for desktop. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see if they have some like more higher powered ones that come to the AI. That would be cool. That would be neat to see, but you know what's even more cool? That screwdriver, but what is also cool is the fact that Ryzen 8000, the first device that I've seen publicly announced getting available for sale, Minis Forum coming out with the AMD Hawkpoint tablet. Interesting. This thing, which like, let me let me just appreciate the two different icons <laughs> that, that these websites use, but the Hawkpoint two-in-one laptop can go from 22 watts to 28 watts in TDP and has DDR5 setup, which also like many forums, it's a Hawkpoint tablet, but then they use dolphins to show it off anyways. 14 inches, 1440p, 165 hertz, 50 plus watt hour battery, two USB four ports and a whole bunch of other stuff, eight Zen four cores, 12 compute units of RDNA three, which is roughly what you can potentially get on something like the Z1 Extreme, the yeah. 7840U. This appears to be roughly the same as what we have right now in the 7840U. It's just because it's coming out in 2024. It has to be. They have to call it Ryzen yeah. 8000. So this is, this, this is the 7840U, but it's it's uh, now Ryzen 8000, which is gonna be happening. I hope that this starts to trickle out more details on what we're getting with Zen 5 getting, hopefully, mm -hmm. I, I mean, typically AMD has announced this kind of stuff at CES. It would be nice to see a Zen 5 announcement at CES. I'm keeping my fingers crossed full, for that. Full, you know, fat Ryzen 5, 8000 fasty chips. The good, good. The good, good. But yesterday, was pretty bad, bad, Reese. We uh, had some issues with hot news, so let's get into comment <laughs> response. So a lot of you may have noticed that there was no moving mouths in yesterday's video besides the ad spot with uh, Catlin putting up this brief comment saying video file broke, so just pretend their mouths are moving. So what happened was somehow in the transfer of the file over from the SD card to my computer, that got corrupted. Yeah. 
I upload all of the files to Catelyn the night before, and then when she wakes up in South African time, she gets to work. So she has a full day's worth of work before I wake up here in America. I got up at 5.30 a.m. and I have panicked messages from Catelyn being like, what's going on? Oh, so I rush Catelyn. downstairs to get the file and I realize it's corrupted here. So I transfer the file over, I uploaded the uncorrupted file, but by that point, she's already knee deep in this edit. Yeah. It's not worth it for her to go back. And so she, she salvaged what went broken and now we know that there's a new way hot news can fail. Exactly. I will say, good job, Catelyn. I want to get a, a round of applause for Catelyn. For Absolutely. Making the absolute best out of this situation. <laughs> it was it was hilarious. Yes. So we have a lot of comments to that effect. Mark Brettnell. Catline, probably spelt wrong. Sorry. I just, I wanted to take this moment. We have everybody's names in the description. Please take a second to dispel Catherine's name correctly, saying that she deserves a raise for the work she did to salvage the broken video. Nicely done with 182 updates on that. And then JMT saying, did people miss the comment about the video file breaking, thus the slideshow being necessary? The editor still hit this out of the park with everything considered. Agreed. She did such a good job of salvaging a broken problem. Luig, 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 Luig. It's Luigi. <laughs> That's it. This is for Catelyn. What an incredible way to recover this broken video file. I really, really enjoyed watching them acting like they were in a comic book. <laughs> that was made, comic book like. You made me laugh so hard. Good job. They better talk about this in their next video. And we did. And Deniable saying, it's like watching a slide of graphic novel with audio, but better. Thanks, Catelyn. And New Egg's training program sounds like it just doesn't give me the incentive to trade in my GPU with them. I'd probably get a better deal through Java or something else. Sounds about right. Aldoza saying, haha, the edit with this still image is gorgeous. Job well done, Catelyn. And Rathalon saying, that was a super creative solution to the broken video. Matt Parsons saying this kind of makes me realize I wouldn't mind hearing a podcast of YouTube. We actually upload Hot News as a podcast. Some every people single like to listen that way. Yeah, every single episode of Hot News is available on your local podcast platform in case you want to do that. But not everybody was okay with it. Oh, Arthur it's... Reed came in and said, if you guys do that freeze frame like that again, I will never watch again. Real talk. And I watch every day. Love the humor, positivity, and enthusiasm. But that really messed with my head. That was a big no-no for Arthur. <laughs> Arthur will try to keep up to your standards. I'm sorry, bud. Purple Gill saying, what's bizarre to me is that the 6500 XT is supposedly worth $77 to them when you can regularly find them on eBay for about $80, which means that that's probably one of the better trade-ins that yeah. you do, is if you had a 6500 XC. Kyle, you only got the 55, right? I'm screwed. <laughs> the Duzix saying, splitting off the delivery branch of Amazon actually makes a lot of sense. Something similar happened in my country and it didn't increase prices of deliveries. It actually just made delivery cheaper for other services. Not sure if it would go down like that in the US, but it could. Not sure that solves how they're copying and undercutting their sellers. I think the US is a very hard one to situationalized compared to other countries because you guys are just so big. Our, and our you're, infrastructure you're... is very much different than a lot of yeah. countries. Like how much road freight we do is is huge. Additionally, um, like I will say Amazon getting into the delivery game has definitely noticeably for me as a consumer stepped up the quality of UPS and FedEx deliveries, mm -hmm. at least the corporate side of things. And so it, it has done good things, but also like living in South Africa, where there was so many different parcel services that you could choose from. We have to rely on third parties. So. Huge competition. It was wild to see. Yeah. Who knows how it'll go. Chunksterapa saying, we all need to chip in and make the Yummy Yumma Deal Master shirt the best seller, just so we can see Brett wear one for the rest of the year. I've seen glimpses of sales figures. Where it doesn't, it's not over until the cannonball situation is over. So I have to be like back home and I have to call it, but uh, it's not looking good for me. Ace here also saying, side note, YYDM, which I don't like that we're shortening it already. That That's making it more of the thing that I want it to be. Almost made me die of cringe, but when you reintroduced it yesterday, it gave me so much dopamine that I will for sure buy the shirt as my contribution towards the Cure of Singap one. <laughs> Love you, bros. But this is, this is the one that sent me. Eric Del Toro saying, as an Intel employee, challenge accepted. I will buy and wear the Yummy Yummy Dealmaster shirt to work the day it arrives. Eric. We've infiltrated Intel. Oh, this is problematic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll keep you updated, but also please buy other, like these, we worked really hard on the other designs too. Pixel art is hard. I'm gonna be so mad. If, if like we sell like quadruple the amount of yummy yummy deal masters, I'm, 
Uh, Sam saying, I really appreciate you guys going back over the stories from the day before, no joke. Sometimes I'm on an unintentional Brett fast. That helps me get caught back up a lot easier. I didn't even think about that. That's a good point. That's a, that's a good idea. Eunice is cool saying, I'm actually pissed. Google Podcast was the best podcast player I've used. I knew that they would come out. I knew that we had people. I saw another one too. <laughs> <laughs> they better keep the 30 second forward and 10 second backward functionality with media keys. I use these when listening to podcasts while driving. I can't currently do this with YouTube or YouTube music apps. They just skip the whole thing. That that would be annoying. I. I get it. Ghost Theorem Production says the shirt makes it seem like the deal master is yummy, whereas the joke is that the deals provided by the deal master are yummy. Major oversight. Very disappoint. What are you talking? Are you saying Reese isn't yummy? Do you think that I'm not saying Reese is the yummy yummy? It's both. Yeah, why not both? Oh, I've always been directing it at you. <laughs> <laughs> Nacho official saying Reese is talking about collab with regards to the Spotify thing we talked about. The difference between them, from my understanding, in collab, all your friends agree to make a playlist and Spotify's algorithm will automatically create a new playlist based on all your likes and music tastes to try to get some similar music. It's not customizable. Once someone is in, they can't leave. What Spotify seems to be releasing is like, multiple people being able to edit a user-made playlist. I Is that it? I already do that. Okay. I, I already do that. That's I don't know what they launched then. Crackling Eye saying GPU.zip is just the proof of concept. This is with regards to the GPU vulnerability. Mm -hmm. It does not require downloading a file and could be run entirely from a remote page. That makes it worse then. Yeah. I misunderstood. Thanks for the correction. Crackling Ice also saying this Amazon thing is like Walmart. They come into town, cause the closure of many of the local stores, but at least they bring 24 hour shopping. Then COVID hits and they take away the 24 hour shopping. Now that we're largely over that, there's still no 24 hour shopping. Where's my 3 a.m. Walmart runs, Doug? I will say 3 a.m. Walmart is an experience. It is great. I I, I don't know if he, Crackling Ice meant that with as much enthusiasm I delivered, but I like we're a lot of the charging for the cannonball is going to be at Walmart's. Yeah. And they're going to be closed. We can't even go pee. Oh, I didn't even think Where's my 3 a.m. peeing, Doug? The god of all that was saying, I'm so confused. Brett has to know we're a bunch of trolls. So what kind of 3D chess is he playing by saying that Deal Master shirt isn't going to be a smash hit now that he's made stakes? I just want to see him in that shirt. I underestimated them. Uh, that's that's what happened. Scattervolt saying, this is my favorite hot news episode to date. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, Mark. Really appreciate it. Evan Axel saying, my my favorite part of hot news is when Brett goes, it's Breton time and Brett's all over those guys. <laughs> all right, we're done. Where's my 3 a.m. peeing, Doug?